Welcome. I'm Inger, she is Rosie, and this is Be Free Yoga. We're so glad you joined us today. This is a one hour vinyasa flow yoga class designed for all levels. Just modify based on your fitness level, any injuries you might have, and how you're feeling today, because every day is different and every body is different. If you like practicing with no music or with your own music, you're in the right place. If you prefer to practice with my carefully curated playlist, you can find these same classes on my website, www.BeFreeYogaAustin.com. And that's B with two E's, like the bumblebee. Um, also there you will find a relaxing guided meditation and written reflections on the weekly topic to help you on your spiritual path. Enjoy your practice today, and thank you so much for joining us. Hi, welcome to Be Free Yoga. I'm Inger, and this is my little furry friend, Rosie, and we're so happy to see you. Today's theme is wonder, or seeing the magic in everyday things. We've all had those moments where you're really connected and the sun is shining and suddenly colors look brighter and the birds are singing. Um, we can create more of those special moments in our life just by calling ourselves back to the moment, paying attention, and getting curious. So that's what we're going to practice on our mat today. You'll need two blocks and a strap. And we are going to start in Supta Baddha Konasana. So come to lay on your back with the soles of your feet together. You can have blocks underneath your knees to support you in complete relaxation. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Take a full deep inhale, feel your chest and belly rise. And then an open mouth to exhale. Again, fill up your lungs. And sigh it out. And then on your next inhale, seal your lips and slightly constrict the back of your throat. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose. This is your ujjayi breath, starting to warm your body from the inside out. One gateway to the present moment is through our senses. So pause here and just notice the sounds around you, the temperature of the air, the feel of your clothes on your skin. Notice the lights dancing inside your eyelids. Consider the magic that brought you here today. How did you first hear about yoga? What circumstances made you carve out this hour for yourself on your mat? Take one more full deep breath. And then on the exhale, reach down and close your legs like a book. You'll need one block. Plant your feet flat on the floor. Tuck your tailbone, lift your hips, and slide the block underneath your sacrum. Hands on the floor by your sides. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Reach up with your heel, flex your foot, big breath in. Exhale, thread the needle, send your right foot under the arch created by your left leg. Lower your knee towards the earth, 
Option to hold your toes with your left hand. With each exhale, release the muscular energy in your hip and let your knee sink lower. On your next inhale, release your toes. Send your right leg high. Press into your left foot, hover your hips and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower your hips back onto your block. If your hips don't lift off your block, that's okay. You can still do the engagement. Big breath in. Exhale, switch your legs. Right foot down, left leg high. Lengthen through the back seam of your leg. Flex your foot. Big inhale. Exhale, thread the needle. Other side, left foot under the arch of your right leg. Slow, deep breaths. I hear an airplane going by. What's cool about sense awareness is sounds don't have to be good or bad anymore. They're just a gateway to bring you back into the moment. Relax your knee lower with every exhale. On your next inhale, release your foot. Send your left leg high. Press your right foot into the floor and pulse. Five, four, three, two, One, relax, lower your left foot, tuck your tailbone, hover your hips and remove your block. Slowly lower one vertebra at a time. Draw your knees into your chest. Give them a squeeze. A nice counter stretch. Reach for the back of your thighs and rock and roll up. Come into tabletop. Wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Spread your fingers wide, create a strong base. Press the tops of your toenails into the earth. Then barrel rolls, jump rope your spine. Bring your head and your hips into this motion as well. First in one direction and then in the other. Come back to center, ground down into your left knee. Inhale, right leg back. Level hips, press into the earth. Activate the front of your leg to lengthen the back of your leg. Big breath in. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl. Push into the earth, create space to tuck your leg underneath you. Make it small. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose. We're going to do this three times. You'll see this throughout class. Crunch one more time. Heel towards your hip, big breath in. And then exhale, lower your knee down for the other side. Inhale, left leg back. Scissor your thighs together, engage your glute, big breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Push into the earth, round your spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Hold this for a breath in, draw your heel towards your glute, 
Exhale, back to tabletop. You can shake out your wrists if you need to. Then flip your toes and exhale into down dog. First down dog of your day, perhaps. So take it easy, pedal out your legs. Then send your hips to one side and then to the other. Back and forth. And then the next time, bend your knees. Send your hips to the back corner of the room. Press into your hands. Other side. Lengthen your legs in the middle. One more time on each side. Inhale back through center. Look to the top of your mat. And take tiny steps forward for ragdoll. Feet hip width distance apart. Bend your knees and let your knuckles drag on the floor. Relax any tension in your head and neck. Inhale, open twist to the right. Your left hand can be on the floor or a block. Right arm high. Your right leg will straighten. Rotate your shoulders, look up. Big breath in. Exhale, back down, bend both knees. Inhale, open twist to the left, left leg straighten. Lengthen your spine, then rotate your shoulders. Look up, twist in your cervical spine, big breath in. Exhale, release. Toe heel your feet together. Slight gap between your heels, big toes touch. And then roll up slowly. One vertebra at a time. When you got to the top, shoulders to your ears and spread through your collarbones. Bring your hands to your heart and close your eyes. Full breath in, open mouth exhale. Today in class, ask yourself, is there ease, joy, and lightness in what I'm doing? If the answer is no, it may be less important to change what you're doing and more important to change how you're doing it. The how is always more important than the what. To obtain these qualities of ease, joy, and lightness, just call yourself back to the moment and connect with your senses and your curiosity. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands to the side. Inhale, mountain pose. Activate your legs, draw up your kneecaps. Belly into your spine, lift your chin, palms face each other. And big breath in. Exhale, circle your arms back. Big a circle as you can. On the inhale, come back up through mountain. Exhale, fold forward halfway. Hinge at your hips, biceps by your ears. Stay for an inhale, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Shift your weight forward into the balls of your feet as you lengthen the back seams of your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Flatten your spine, hands on your shins. Tweeze your shoulder blades together. Lengthen through the back of your neck. One more inhale. Exhale, low lunge, left foot back. Inhale, crescent moon. Lower your back knee, arms go high. Toe heel your right foot forward and out, and then sink your hips low. There's a small back bend here, so keep your Uddiyana Bandha, your belly, engaged to protect your spine. Big breath in. Exhale, side bend to the right. Option for a block under your right hand. Keep your left shoulder open. 
Maybe look up past your armpit. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, half splits. Straighten your front leg, send your hips back. Option to frame your front foot with some blocks. Draw your right hip back and down, flex your foot. On the inhales, lengthen, and on the exhales, deepen. Stay really present to the sensations in your body. What's warm, what's tingly, no judgment attached. On your next inhale, plant your right foot. Sink your hips low and reach your arms high. Make sure your front knee is stacked over your ankle. Big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Activate your back leg, lift your knee off the floor. Inhale, open twist to the right. Right arm high. If your right hip came up, send it back down. One more inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, send your right leg high. Nice level hips. Exhale, knee to nose. Here we go again. Push into the earth. Tuck your leg in. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose three times. Press down and forward as you lift your leg high. And then hinge forward as you tuck it. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Step it through so strong. Inhale, shift your weight forward. And exhale, forward fold. Big breath in. Sigh it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, press down to rise up. And then exhale, circle your arms back. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold halfway, belly drawn in, fire up your core, hold for the inhale. Exhale, fold the rest of the way. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, right foot back. Inhale, crescent moon. Right hip forward, left hip back. Belly engaged, strong arms, palms rotate towards each other. Exhale, side bend to the left. Remember, you can have a block under your hand. Keep your top shoulder open, look up past your arm. Feel a lengthening in your right side body. Inhale back through crescent. Exhale, half splits. Frame your front foot with your blocks. Draw your he front heel back towards you. Keep your foot flexed. Then think about flattening your spine. Maybe you rise up a little, lengthen, and then reach your chest towards your shin. Keep pushing the top of your right foot into the earth for stability. On your next inhale, plant your front foot. Rise back up through crescent moon. Exhale, active low lunge. Lift your back knee. Inhale, open twist to the left, left hand high. Send your hip down. Rotate your shoulders, look up. Big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, you got it. Inhale, left leg high. Inhale, knee to nose, make your legs small and compact. Inhale, left high. 
exhale, hinge forward. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, low lunge. So strong, inhale, shift your weight forward. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now we're flowing, inhale, mountain. Exhale, circle your arms back. Inhale at the top. Exhale, fold forward halfway. Stay for a breath in, flatten your spine, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, left foot back. Inhale, crescent moon. Lower your back knee. Exhale, side bend to the right. Lengthen your left side body. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Rather than using your blocks, maybe you have airplane arms here. Reach back as you reach your heart forward. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, crescent moon, plant your front foot, reach high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, open twist to the right. Look up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, right leg high, send it back and up. Exhale, knee to nose, keep it here, stay for a breath in. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, forward fold, second side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, push down as you shoot up. Exhale, circle your arms back. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, lengthen forward halfway. Stay for the inhale, arms long. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, right foot back. Inhale, crescent moon. Create space, widen your stance. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half splits, option for the airplane arms. Reach forward and back at the same time. Flex your foot, stay for the breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, crescent moon, flatten your front foot, reach high. Exhale, low lunge, lift your back knee. Inhale, open twist to the left. Keep your left hip down. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold for the breath in. Create space, push into your hands. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Inhale, shift your weight forward. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. Swan dive up. Exhale, circle your arms back. As you inhale, come to chair. Sit low, reach high. Squeeze your legs together for stability. Big breath in. Exhale, hinge forward halfway. Maybe your hips go even lower. Biceps by your ears, stay for a breath in. Exhale, forward fold, straighten your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, spread through your collarbones. Exhale, chaturanga, first one of class. Keep your elbows in at your side and your chest spread wide open. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, send your right leg high. 
Exhale, knee to nose. Gonna do it three times. Notice your body getting warmer. Right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Stay there for the inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Step through. Ground down into your feet. Stable lower half. Inhale, reach your arms forward, Utita arms. One long line of energy. Big breath in. Exhale, standing splits. Option for blocks under your hands. Shift your weight forward and lift your left heel. Ground down through your strong big toe, both legs active. We're here for a few breaths. Maybe you look down and practice your balancing by put one hand on your shin, maybe both hands on your shin. Everything's active. One more breath in. Exhale, pyramid pose, release your shin. Big step back. Plant your back heel and straighten your front leg. Option for blocks on either side of your front foot. Inwardly rotate your back thigh so that your left hip comes forward and your right hip goes back. Keep pressing your back heel down. Lengthen on the inhale and fold deeper on the exhales. One more inhale, one more exhale. Inhale, warrior one, bend your front knee and rise up. Send your left hip forward, strong mountain arms, big breath in. Exhale, open twist to the right. Roll your right shoulder down your back. Hands at shoulder height. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, revolve triangle, hinge forward. Find a block and place it inside your front foot. Right arm high. Lengthen your spine, then twist your shoulders to the side of the room. Send your right hip back and down. One more inhale, twist a little bit deeper. And then exhale back through pyramid. You can use both your blocks. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, triangle. Now we're going to open up the other way. You may widen your stance a little bit. Open to the left. You came from down low, so make sure you lift and lengthen your spine. Then send your rib cage skyward. One more inhale. Exhale, take the half bind, left wrist watch behind your back. Open your top shoulder. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your front knee. Right arm high, keep your half bind and deepen it. Work your left fingers towards your right hip crease. Keep your front knee open, big inhale. Exhale, side angle with a half bind. Reach forward and down. On the inhale, lengthen your spine, then open that top shoulder even more. Exhale, chaturanga. Float your right foot if you want. Inhale, up dog, thighs off the floor. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, send your left leg high, other side. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, hinge forward, make it small and tight. Left leg high. Knee to nose, stay for the inhale, push into the earth, create space. Exhale, step your left foot forward, low lunge. Ground into your feet. 
Inhale, Utita, arms reach for the front. Everything's fired up, big breath in. Exhale, standing splits. Level your hips, send your right heel high. Maybe you play with your balance by looking at the top edge of your mat, bringing one hand to your shin and the other. Keep your legs active. One more inhale, exhale pyramid. Step back, plant your right heel, block surround your front foot. Rotate your right hip forward. Draw your left femur into your hip socket. Lengthen as you breathe in and deepen as you breathe out. One more round of breath here. Ground down into your feet. Keep a micro bend in your front knee, reach forward. Stay for the exhale. And then inhale up into warrior one, bend your front knee. Front knee stacked over your ankle. Back heel grounds down. Inhale. Exhale, open twist to the left. Left arm back, right arm forward. Look back over your shoulder. Then straighten your front leg. Revolve triangle, hinge forward. Bring your right hand to a block inside your foot. Send your left hip back and down. See if you can keep your back heel on the floor and most of the weight in your feet. Rotate your rib cage, big breath in. Exhale back through pyramid. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, triangle, maybe step your foot back a little bit and open up to the right. Shoulders and hands in one line. Lengthen and lift your spine. Exhale, take your half bind. Top shoulders still open. Inhale, reverse warrior with a half bind. Your bind deepens as you reach up and back. Front knees open, big breath in. Exhale, side angle with a half bind, reach forward and down. Use the pressure between your arm and your leg to help you twist on the inhale. Open that top shoulder more. Exhale, chaturanga, release your bind. Fight gravity on the way down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Remember, child's pose is there for you anytime you want it. We're going to flow through that one more time on each side. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop to the front. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. Rise up with control. Exhale, circle your arms back. Inhale, chair. Exhale, hinge forward halfway. Keep your hips lower. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, every halfway lift. Every time we stop halfway on the way down, we're firing up our core. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, right leg high, level hips. Exhale, knee to nose just one time. Stay for the breath in, make your right leg small. Exhale, step it through. Low lunge. That step through will look different for different people. That's okay. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Get long. Exhale, standing splits. Option for your blocks. On the inhale, lift your heel higher. 
Exhale, pyramid. Step back, straighten your front leg. On the inhale, lengthen. And on the exhale, deepen. Inhale, bend your front knee. Reach to the front of the room. And then rise up, warrior one. Keep your back heel down, send your left hip forward, inhale. Exhale, open twist to the right. Inhale, straighten your front knee. Exhale, revolved triangle. Big breath in, open a little bit more. Exhale, down to pyramid. Inhale, triangle, step your back foot back a little, create some space, open up to the left. Exhale, half bind, open your top shoulder. Inhale, reverse warrior with the half bind, reach further behind your back. Exhale, side angle. Keep that half bind. Inhale, open your top shoulder more, look up. Exhale, chaturanga. Or you can meet in down dog, or even low lunge. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Your inhale. Your exhale. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, step through. Low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms forward. One long line of energy. Exhale, standing splits. Level hips, lengthen through your heel. Inhale, lift it higher. Exhale, pyramid. Big step back. Send your left hip back and your right hip forward. Stay for the breath in. Stay for the breath out. Micro bend your front knee. Inhale, reach forward. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, warrior one. Rise up with control. Front knee bent. Exhale, open twist. Left hand back. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, revolve triangle. Stay for a breath in, twist deeper, look up. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, triangle. Step your back, back foot back, open up to the right. Spine long and lifted, exhale, half bind. Inhale, reverse warrior with a half bind. Reach for your hip crease, front knee open. Exhale, side angle with the half bind. Inhale, roll your shoulder open, look up. Keep your hips low. Exhale, chaturanga. Of your choice. Inhale, up dog, thighs off the floor. Then lead with your hips into down dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, come through to a seat. Yay! Towel off, grab a sip of water. Mm. That was so good, that was a lot of flowing today. More than we've been doing lately with all our cozy gratitude classes. But isn't it wonderful what our body can do? All right, when you're ready, we're gonna meet on our back in Supta Baddha Konasana, just like we started. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Maybe your knees are not on blocks this time, you just let gravity open you up a little bit more. Albert Einstein said, there are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, and the other is though everything is a miracle. Which one do you choose today? Check in with your senses. What do you notice? What's changed? One more inhale. 
One more exhale. Then reach down and close your legs like a book. Bring your legs into reverse tabletop. Knees stacked over your hips. Tee out your arms. Take a big breath in and exhale. Tip your knees to the right. Keep your shoulders planted on the floor and then extend your legs. Bend them and come back through center. Other side, extend them. Back through center. The key is to use your core to keep you really stable. Shoulders glued down on the mat. Tip to the right. Extend. Bend and come back through center. Maybe you want to do the whole thing with straight legs. Maybe you're quite content with bent legs. One more time on each side. Bend to the right. Straighten. Bend and center, left, and center. Come back into your Supta Baddha Konasana legs, soles of your feet together. Keep your arms out in a T. On the inhale, fold your left knee to meet your right and extend it long to the side wall. Cross your body, shoulders pinned down, rainbow your left leg up and over, and then bend your knee and fold your feet back together, Supta Baddha Konasana. Right knee now folds to the left, extend your top leg, reach across, rainbow, and bring the soles of your feet together. Fold your knee, First side again. Hi, Rose. Right to left. Extend, last one, big rainbow. And bring it back together. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Rock them side to side. And then take a long good morning stretch. Point your toes, reach your arms overhead. Look at everything as though you are seeing it either for the first or the last time. Then your time on earth will be filled with glory. Betty Smith. So we're about to do boat, which maybe if you've been doing yoga for a while, you've done a million times, but let's approach it like it's our very first time or our very last time with curiosity, openness, big breath in, exhale, bend your legs, reach for the back of your thighs and rock and roll up. Nice. Remember your options, you can keep your heels on the floor, your hands behind your thighs, you can outstretch your arms. Just keep your spine long and lifted and your heart lifted as well. Flex and point your feet. Then find stillness in your legs, reach forward with your arms and pulse. Neck long, you're not holding any tension there. Belly drawn in, five, four, three, two, one. Stay for a couple more breaths. Get curious about this thing we call boat. Don't hold your breath. One more inhale, exhale, cross your feet. You can go through a chaturanga. Maybe linger in the up dog for a nice stretch. Look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Then draw your hips up and back. Pull yourself into down dog. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Press your chest down. Open your shoulders a little bit more. Inhale, send your left leg high. Starting on the left this time. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Keep pushing down, round your spine, stay for the inhale. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Tent your fingers, weight in your feet, inhale, reach forward. Fire up your core, keep your hips low, stay for the exhale. Inhale, warrior one. Plant your back heel and rise up. Right hip forward, left hip back. Adjust your stance so your front knee is over your ankle. Big breath in. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Press your palms together. Open your shoulders as your knuckles go low. Big breath in. Exhale, toppling tree. Look down at the mat in front of your foot. Shift your weight forward and lift your right leg. You want level hips. Maybe your leg extends all the way up diagonally, which where the wall meets the ceiling. Maybe it doesn't. If this grip doesn't work for you, you can let it go. One more inhale. Exhale, standing splits, release your head and neck. Find your blocks. Maybe on the high setting. And then inhale, quarter moon. Straighten your arms. Parallel your torso and your leg with the floor if you can. Just work towards that, visualize that. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane. Send your hands to the back. Spread through your collarbones. One more breath in. Exhale, step back. Woo, that was a lot. Inhale, warrior one. Plant your back heel. Exhale, interlace your hands again. Inhale, spread through your collarbones. Exhale, humble warrior. Hinge forward, bring your left shoulder inside your left knee. Use it to open it more, relax your head and neck. Send your knuckles high. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Roald Dahl. Make the choice right now to believe in magic. One more inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Release your grip. Low lunge, step your right foot back. Inhale, side angle, plant your back heel and open up to the right. This time we're gonna do a full bind. So find your strap and hold it in your top hand. Take your half bind, right wrist watch behind your back, then reach between your legs with your left hand and get the other end of your strap. Hips low, front knee open, lengthen your spine and rotate your shoulders. Use your strap to assist you. One more inhale. Exhale, prepare for bird of paradise. Shift your weight forward into your left foot and bring your right foot to meet it, keep your bind, hold onto that strap. Then look forward, lengthen your chest forward, root into your right foot now, and rise up holding your strap. Good posture. You can keep your left knee bent or work to straighten it. Pause here to think about the bird of paradise flower. I don't think there is a more magical flower than that. Try and embody its magnificence and the wonder you feel at nature's creation as you stand in this posture. One more inhale. Exhale, release your strap. Inhale through one-legged mountain, left knee lifts. Exhale, low lunge, big step back. One more side to go, you guys got this. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold for the breath in. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Root into your feet. Inhale, reach your arms forward, get long. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, warrior one.
plant your back heel rise up. You can adjust your stance, level out your hips, strong arms, big breath in. Exhale, take your opposite grip, non-habitual grip behind your back. Breath in, press your palms together. Exhale, toppling tree. Shift your weight forward and lift your back leg. Maybe find stability by looking at the top of your mat. Level hips, knuckles high. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands, standing splits. Ahoy is option for your blocks, but you'll need them as we move into quarter moon. It's like a halfway lift with hands on your blocks. Lengthen forward, ground down into your right foot, exhale, airplane. Activate your triceps, level your hips, big breath in. Exhale, step back. Whew. Inhale, warrior one. Inwardly rotate your back thigh. Exhale, non-habitual grip again. Inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, hinge forward. Humble warrior. Release the tension you're holding in your face, your head or your neck. Children see magic because they look for it. Christopher Moore. That's so true. Set an intention to look for magic. One more breath in. Exhale, release your hands. Step back to low lunge. Inhale, plant your back heel, open up into side angle. We get to do Bird of Paradise on the other side. First, grab your strap, half bind, reach between your legs and grab the other edge of the strap. Keep your hips low, your front knee open, lengthen your spine and then rotate your shoulders. Then look down towards your front foot, shift your weight into it and step your left foot forward to meet it. Keep that strap underneath your thigh. Look forward, lengthen forward, and then start to rise up, grounding into your left foot. Good posture, long neck. You can point your toe, you can straighten your leg, whatever version works in your body. Picture the bird of paradise. Find a drishti, a gaze to support you. One more inhale. Exhale, release your strap. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Right knee lifts. Exhale, low lunge. Giant step back. Inhale, left foot high. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Look to the top of your mat and come through to a seat again. Another little break. You can have another sip of water. I'm going to read you a quote by Yates. The world is full of magical things, patiently waiting for our senses to grow sharper. So let's keep our senses sharp for these last few minutes of class instead of tuning out, thinking about life outside this room after our practice. Let's keep our senses sharp so we don't miss any of the magical moments that we could be having here. All right, we're coming into a wide-legged seat. This is easier for some than others. If your muscles are tight like me, you might have trouble reaching forward in this position, but just do the best you can. Outwardly rotate your thighs. Take a big breath in, and then exhale, we're gonna side bend to the right. 
Bring your right elbow maybe onto a block and rainbow your left arm overhead. Find length in your left side body. Maybe look up past your armpit. Inhale, rise up. Other side, left elbow on a block, right arm overhead. Keep your legs active, backs of them glued down to the floor. Inhale, come back up. And then we're gonna forward fold and rest our head on some blocks. For you, this may mean you need two tall blocks. Maybe you can rest your head on the floor. Find out what option works for you. And I'm going to read you a quote. Keep your feet flexed, toes pointed to the sky. I want to be magic. I want to touch the heart of the world and make it smile. I want to be a friend of elves and live in a tree or under a hill. I want to marry a moonbeam and hear the stars sing. I don't want to pretend at magic anymore. I want to be magic. Charles DeLint. Take another full inhale here. Try and relax. You have the blocks. And another exhale. Then rise up slowly. Set your blocks to the side. Plant your right foot flat on your mat. Reach across with your left hand and grab your shin. We're gonna side bend towards our extended leg. Rainbow your right arm up and over. This grip that you have on your left shin is gonna help you rotate your shoulders even more. If you want to make the rotation even stronger, you can edge your foot further away from your body. Play with the balance there. Maybe you can even reach your toes. Maybe you're not there yet, that's okay. Feel length on your right side, extending all the way down into your hip. And rise up, switch sides. Plant your left foot flat. Extend your right leg. Right hand comes to your left shin. Rainbow your left arm up and over and reach towards your extended leg. Now draw, use that pressure of your hand on your leg to twist your shoulders open. Maybe you scoot your left foot out. Balance the side bending and the twisting. Inhale, rise back up. Beautiful. Straighten your legs and slowly lower down onto your back one vertebra at a time. Come into a figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Then reach down and grab the front of your shin or the back of your thigh. Flex your feet, open your right knee. Then send your knees two inches to the left. You can use your right elbow to open your knee even more. One more inhale. Release your grip, tee out your arms, and let your legs fall to the left. Right foot flat on the floor. Gaze to the right for a figure four twist. Anchor through your shoulders. Don't force anything, just let it be. On your next inhale, unwind, uncross your legs, left shin over your right thigh now, 
And come back into your figure four with a grip that works for you. Flex your feet, open your knee, and then send both knees two inches to the right. One more breath in. Exhale, release your grip, tee out your arms. Send both legs to the right as you look to the left. Figure four twist. On your next inhale, unwind, come back through center, uncross your legs, come into happy baby, knees wide. You can hold the outside edges of your feet or your shins or the back of your thighs. Pull down on your legs as you kick up into your hands. Use your elbows to open your knees wider and try and flatten your whole spine all the way to your tailbone on the floor. One more inhale. Exhale, release your feet. Curl up into a tiny ball. Full winter moving pose. Make the smallest version of yourself and then take the biggest inhale of the day. And exhale into Shavasana. Stretch your legs long. Wrap your shoulder blades underneath you, palms face up. Release any tension in your face and your jaw and your hips. And then come back to sense awareness. Notice the coolness of your perspiration on your body, the warmth inside you, the sounds in the air. Yoga is magic. Notice how different your body feels now compared to when you arrived. And not just your body, but your mind and spirit as well. Our closing quote is by Abraham Heschel. Our goal should be to live life in radical amazement. Get up in the morning and look at the world in a way that takes nothing for granted. Everything is phenomenal. Everything is incredible. Never treat life casually. To be spiritual is to be amazed. Spend a few moments here in stillness, practicing sense awareness.
Start to deepen and lengthen your breath. And then wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle out your ankles and your wrists. Let your head fall to one side. And then to the other. Come back through center, take a long good morning stretch, arch your back, point your toes, arms overhead, big breath in. And exhale into fetal pose on your favorite side, using your bicep as a pillow. As we go through this posture of rebirth and think about moving off our mat, Know that to observe magic in your life, all is required is to pay attention. Anytime we pay attention to a flower or a child, a friend, a sound, our attention shows that we care. So look for opportunities for caring this week and find the magic contained there. On your next inhale, push into your top hand with as little movement as possible. Come up to an easy seat on your mat. Bring your hands to your heart. Ground down, feel the support of the earth and get long, feel the inspiration coming from the heavens. Take a full deep inhale and an open mouth exhale. And bring your hands to third eye center. The light, the love, the teacher, the student, the hot mess and the magic in me. Recognizes and adores the light, the love, the teacher, the student, the hot mess, and the magic in each of you. Namaste. Thanks so much for coming today. As always, it's a pleasure to have you here, and I look forward to practicing with you again at Be Free Yoga.